What do you think strip till is? Not sure about that. Sounds like something that would be done to like a, a crop or a plant maybe. They don't till the whole thing every year. They just do the strips in between. For conservation purposes so the soil doesn't erode. Nearly 33% of the world's most fertile soil is lost every year to wind erosion. Torrential rains take away even more. But farmers are finding a way to reduce, even stop it, by changing their tillage. Let's take a look at conservation tillage. Tillage is when a farmer turns the soil over to get rid of weeds before planting. But now, to protect the land, farmers are using conservation tillage. And the way it works is, they need something that holds everything in place. They leave the stalks, the residue, and it kind of works like a hairnet, right? Nothing moves, but it's a permeable cover so the rain can come through. You can tell when a farmer uses strip till because the corn and soybean stalks are left behind from the previous year's crop. There are a couple of ways to do it. Strip till has two aspects to it. Zone fertilizer is laying your nutrients right where the plant needs it. Another aspect of strip till is just doing a small strip, maybe 12 inches wide, your tillage through there to keep your residue still in, in place so you don't have as much erosion and then planting on top of those strips. The number of Iowa acres with conservation tillage is up 110% in the last 25 years. It's a popular approach because besides reducing erosion, no-till and strip tilling improves the soil beneath. We've seen a dramatic increase in soil quality. We have soil tests, of course, that show that. And that was the, probably the most uh, enlightening thing to me. It's one thing, it's a good thing to be saving soil, but it's another thing to also improve the quality of soil, better water infiltration, uh, retaining more nutrients, less erosion, of course, and more food. There are many practices farmers are learning about in the nutrient reduction strategy, which work for their farms no matter what part of the state they farm. To learn more, check out conservationcountsiowa.com. With your conservation q and I'm Lori Johns.